Hi guys. It's been a hot minute. Um, we were gone for quite some time. We had a wedding and then I spent a week in Disney with 19 of my closest family members. So anyone that's ever been on a big family vacation, I think you can sympathize with me on this one. It is um, amazing. It's so much fun. It's a great experience, but it's exhausting. You need a vacation from your vacation. Like you literally need a vacation from your vacation. So we spent um, the weekend in Solomon's Island, Maryland for the wedding. Um, and then we, well, I got on a plane that Sunday and met my family in Disney for another week. Finally home, jumped right back into work, two shifts in the ER, and now I have two days off, which is glorious. So I'm back. Thanks for all the messages and thanks for checking up on me. Um, I know it was a long time. I also want to thank everybody for your support last month. So with all the storms, when I signed up for Unique, my kit didn't come for 10 days and that's very unusual. But with all the storms they had, it took a while to get it to me. Even though I didn't get it until like the 27th of March and I was gone for a week, I was still able to earn a promotion and advance to yellow status. Um, just because you guys love me and you help me and I'm so grateful for that. So, I'm home, I'm ready to roll, we're moving on. Last time I did a live in this location, many of you said to me, do you realize there's a naked woman in the background? No, I totally didn't. The next question I got was, is that you? No, it's totally not. It's some like, you know, artsy, schmartsy craft store buy that is beautiful. Not me. Didn't realize it was there. So we adjusted our angle a little bit. And I, we're going to have to adjust again because these lights are super bright. Let me try something. No, that doesn't work either. Let me try adjusting these ones. Oh, much better. Maybe. So anyway, <clears throat> we're here. We're jumping back in. Two things for you. Um, the first thing is skincare is super important. It's not going to, I can't, the lights are killing me right now. Let's move my side note. I feel like I need to take a picture of the contraptions that I rig right now to hold my phone in, in the right place because it's a little dangerous. I might have like a little slideshow compilation of those just because it's hysterical. Um, and yes, I see you. Hi, baby. I stole the spice rack this time because <laughs> I needed height. Um, at any rate, skincare is super important. It's not our, our big focus this month, but I am going to just tell you, um, show you just really, really quick what I use. I started today with our charcoal mask. It's part of our um, Adore Her Mother's Day bundle. It's only available until Sunday. So I did that. It's five minutes. You let it sit. I'll have a little slideshow later. I was not going to make you sit here and stare at my face for five minutes while the charcoal mask set. These lights are killing me. I don't know why they're so shiny today. Let me go this way. Um, maybe that's why I went this way last time. That's why you can see the picture. I don't know. We'll try to figure it out together. Um, other than that, I use our Pore Perfecting Cleanser. So I wiped the mask off after five minutes. I use the cleanser. Um, I love this one. It's exfoliating. I'm a sun girl. I like to be in the sunshine. I know it's not good for you. I'm going to keep moving us until I find the right light, ladies, because this is a lot. After that, my biggest <laughs> dismay when I was in Disney is that I ran out of my rose water. Who knew? Like, I never used this in my life, and you don't know what you got until it's gone. Because let me tell you, when I ran out in Disney, I was spraying it on the kids. They were sunburned. It is fabulous as a toner, it's fabulous as a makeup setter, it's fabulous as sunburn relief, it's fabulous to help change the tone of your eyeshadow. Anyway, ran out, and let me tell you, my this is so funny, my wish list, my next few things on my wish list, I needed to refill my toner, that was on there, the detoxifying mask was on there, I have to have some more of that, um, and the next two things I was going to purchase for myself are the last two eyeshadow palettes, and we'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, I told you I use the cleanser, then I use the toner. The next thing I put on um, is our Instant Lift. It's amazing. So I don't just use it for my eyes. You know, you're supposed to use it for puffs, bagginess, wrinkles, etc. I put it down here, and it's 
fabulous. Who knows how much you might have a little more chin than we'd like to. Kind of pulls everything up. I love it. Put that on. And then the moisturizer that I use. So at any rate, those are the things I've done. I've already put my primer on because that has to set for a few minutes to really do its job. The next thing that comes in the Mother's Day bundle, in addition to the charcoal mask and that rose water, is something I already have but I love. Our lip exfoliator. I'm going to do that next. It's all natural. It's safe. It's like sugar. Um, don't count it in your carbs, ladies. But you just rub it on like lipstick. It's like a sugar scrub for your lips. And a lot of the problems that women have, especially aging myself here, especially those of us that, you know, maybe have hit 40 or are aging a little bit, when we get a little crepey around the lips, same thing with around our eyes, our lipstick runs. So you put it on, it's just like a sugar scrub in a stick. Rub it in, especially in the summertime when you're out in the sun all the time, and you get a little flaky, a little sunburnt. I use this on sage. Her little lips, I don't know why, I don't care what season it is, they're always red and they're always dry. I use this on her, it's all natural, it's sweet, it doesn't taste bad, there's no chemicals, and she lets me put it on her. So I rub that in, and because I'm getting ready to put my makeup on right away, I'm just gonna take the grainy of the salt of the sugar off. And we're ready to go there. Like I said, I already did my primer. So those are the three things. The um, charcoal detoxifying mask, um, you put it on, on moist skin, and it starts to bubble and turn gray automatically, and it pulls all the impurities. Hi, Lori. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Brandy. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, takes out all the impurities. It's exfoliating. It's moisturizing. It's hydrating. It's fabulous. People use it on their heels. You know that all the crazy town stuff that you see where they say to like put an onion in your sock at night? This mask people put on their heels, same thing, it pulls out the impurities from your system. So I have found, since I got back from Disney, that I've had to switch to my summer shades. So I use Organza normally, and I'm gonna use chiffon today. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that on our foundation brush. Like I said, the Flawless Four, thank you for everyone who bought that last month, it was fabulous. Fabulous deal. Um, just a couple of drops on your foundation brush. And I was surprised at how quickly I transitioned from, hi Karen, from my everyday shade to my summer shade. And again, I started with a little of the lights. I don't know why the lights are crazy town today. But we're going to work on it. We'll find the right angle. And I think every time the sun moves, maybe if I close these, no, I don't think so. Anyway, a couple of drops. We're going to just bloop it and have at it. I was, like I said, I was surprised at how quickly it was time for my summer shade. So while I'm just blooping and blending, I know technical terms, right? Um, in addition to the Mother's Day bundle, which I'm super excited about, like I totally was waiting for this mask. It was my next thing to buy. I have samples that came in my kit and it's amazing. And it was the next purchase I was gonna make for myself. I have eyeshadow palettes one, two, and three already. And I wanted four and five. Y'all, I don't know what is happening here, but we can't be having this crazy town lighting. You're never gonna see the makeup that way. Hi, Steph. Excuse my um, motion issues here. Maybe I just have to stand farther away. I don't like that, but we'll figure it out. One more time. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Like I said, if you could see the contraptions that I come up with, <laughs> to hold my phone in place. Baby, if you're still watching, I will never again tell you not to buy me something that I talked about because I still haven't ordered the damn sucky thing that hooks on the mirror to hold my phone for these. Won't do it again. Because let me tell you, ladies, my guy, if I, I breathe something, I think something, it magically appears. Anyway, so we're going to finish blending. So my wish list, it was super funny this month, was the full size of the detoxifying mask because I loved it so much and to finish out my collection with the palettes four and five. So, um, <laughs> crazy enough, Mother's Day bundle is the detoxifying mask, the lip exfoliator, and the rose water, which I already needed to refill. And then the next promotion that we have this month is the eyes. Oh my gosh, you get a palette, 
of your choice. You pick whatever palette you want, an eyeliner of your choice, and our 3D mascara. That's our May Kudos. So, for me, totally worked out. All right, so at any rate, I'm gonna finish blending out the last of my foundation. No, I'm just gonna have to stand further away a bit. Holy moly. And then I'm using the same, the Scarlet. Um, concealer just because I don't feel like I'm dark enough yet to really just use the organza I do have it they say one to two shades lighter um, than your foundation so I'm good with Scarlet because I'm a pale girl most of the time but in the summer I do get really dark um, fortunately probably the Norwegian Italian get the blonde but I also get really really tan easily so with all the stress <laughs> of the wedding and the vacation I actually got my first real pimple years it's a terrible thing but we have the tools to cover it now my biggest problem I have with my um, concealer is I use too much I am so used to having to glob everything on to cover anything I want to cover that I find that I use way too much mr. O'Connor hello I'm gonna teach you how to put makeup on Hi. <laughs> um, so I really find myself having to back off. I mean, little itty bitty dab and I'm still trying to um, lessen the amount that I'm putting on my face. And anyway, so we're gonna start. I covered myself a little bit there. We're gonna dab a little bit on the under eyes. So anyway, the wedding was gorgeous. Those of you that know me, um, me and Butch, you know our history and you know that this wedding was a big deal. Side note, his mother asked me to do her makeup. Holy moly Batman. That was stressful considering I just learned how to do my own. Hi Troy. Um, like weeks ago. Not kidding. <laughs> so having to do his mother's makeup for her wedding was a really stressful um, thought process for me. But let me tell you how grateful I am that I said yes and I did it. It was such a great bonding time. It was amazing to be able to be in her space and to be able to be with her during that m moment in her life. Um, again, I'm sorry for the lighting. I don't know what's going on today. We're super bright. But at any rate, it was such a fabulous weekend. She looked gorgeous. Beautiful Solomon's Island, Maryland. Hi, Mandy. Um, such a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I was so, so blessed to be a part of it. Um, her makeup turned out amazing. I was a little more, I was more bold with her makeup than I am with my own and it turned out gorgeous. So I'm going to be a little braver, I think, when I have to go out or have an event. Um, so anyway, so we're done. Foundation, concealer. We did that. We'll do some blush. And then we'll do the setting powder and we'll move on to the eyes. Because the eyes are the folk. <gasps> Candy, hi, boo! Um, move on to the eyes because that's the focus of our month this month. So we're just gonna put, focus on the apples, you blend it out. Um, nothing big, I am not very skilled in my blush application, but I love how it sticks with this foundation. You don't need a lot. It just takes a little tiny bit and you are good to go for your day. Again, we're gonna figure out these lights here shortly because this is stressing me out. So again, the Mother's Day bundle, um, only through Sunday. So. If you have a mother, which I know you all do, if you are a mother, which many of you are, treat yourself, treat your mom, message me, I'll get your husband to treat you, because it is only available at that 20% presenter discount until Sunday. Hi, Katie! And I'm super excited to be home. Side note, while I have a captive audience here, Sorry, y'all. Lights, hair, we got problems here. Um, I am in search of 10 of my lovely friends. I am using now, ooh, now it's on the floor, the Behold setting powder. It was currently out of stock last time I checked, but let me tell you if I'm not gonna buy more when it comes back in stock. Um, setting powder 
uh, I, like I said, I normally use look, uh, powder foundation, so the liquid foundation was a change for me, and actually there's a whole nother live we can do or video we can do on foundation types and for your skin type. But anyway, I use setting powder always. Kind of as like your airbrush. Makes everything kind of set, stay where it's supposed to stay, absorbs oil throughout the day. It's lovely. Now that that's done, and y'all, I'm, I'm sorry, it's my first day back off, off vacation after two days of work in the ER. If I'm a little um, back and forth, I apologize in advance, but I wanted to get this out there, especially since the Behold package is only available until Sunday. The charcoal mask, the lip exfoliator, the rose water. I can't say enough about the products. They're amazing. But again, only available till Sunday. So message me, let me help you help your mama. Or help your husband help you. Ha! Huh. Anyway, so we're gonna go. Next thing, the eyes. Holy moly Batman. Like I said, I am I had already had on my list to buy this month. Um, this is what our palettes look like. This is our original palette, number one. It looks like inside has a mirror. It's magnetic. Most of them are a mix of mattes and shimmers. Um this month you get your palette, you get the 3D lashes, and you get a liner of your choice. You can pick your palette, you can pick your liner. Today I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use one. I think I'm gonna use palette one, I think I'm gonna use perfect because they both come in your new presenters kit. So easy peasy. Um, it's a Wednesday, it's I don't know what lunchtime maybe. Uh, <laughs> let me put all this back and get this out of my way. Um, Wednesday at lunchtime, we're gonna do an easy peasy daytime look. And we're gonna use palette one. And the perfect uh, the black eyeliner that comes with the kit so we also have like I said you get the palette you get the eyeliner you get the lashes and it's $74 it's 20% off if you had bought them separately so we're gonna move in and just start with our deluxe brush I'm going to start with a laden Ooh, hello we're gonna use that as base um, I've tried it both ways because, like I said, I just learned how to do my own makeup, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> I've watched it both ways and I've seen in the videos where people, um, sorry, there's lots of messages coming through right now. Um, I've seen where people use it as a base, people advocate a base, and people say, no, just put the color where you want it because um, otherwise it gets muddy. Me personally, and maybe I'm just not skilled enough yet, I find that if I use a nice light colored base that my colors stay where I want them to be. Um, so I'm gonna use the Elated as a base. We're gonna just do that. Put the product on your brush. We're gonna put it all over. So all the way up to the brow line. This is gonna be like my base. And like I said, I primed already. So I, I used my face primer as an eye primer. They do, we do have an eye primer as well that I have not gotten yet, but I imagine um, it's formulated for such a purpose. So we're gonna put that as a nice base on the whole lid. For me, like I said, I don't know whether it's because I have oily skin. Like I said, I'm learning still too now. Um, but I find that when I use a nice pale, whether it be our splurge cream shadows or whether it be a nice pale color like the Salated from Palette One, that I get a better result personally. Now your skin type might be different. Like I said, some people have different techniques they like to use. But for me, I lay that down as a base. I also keep, maybe if you're still watching, I know you're at work. If you're not, I know you watch it later. I apologize in advance. I go through a lot of washcloths here because you gotta clean between everything. I try to use the dark ones. I used the gray one, your gray one actually, that was on your sink for the charcoal mask because you always wanna use a dark one because it is charcoal, it's gonna stain. So I use the Elated. The next thing I'm gonna do is not something normally that I would do during the day, but um, because we have what? One, two, three, four shimmer colors and three mattes in this palette. Um, one is kind of a mix of the two, but normally nighttime is shimmery, daytime is all matte, it's easy peasy. Um, but today, I'm gonna go with Brassy 
for the inside, which is this one here. It's beautiful, kind of gold, really light gold, shimmery. And I'm gonna use Chipper, which is the lighter of the browns in this palette, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that. Chipper, it's the light, lighter of the browns in this palette. I'm gonna use that for the crease and for my V, backwards C, whatever they wanna call it there. Um, so I'll start with the Chipper. That's it again, because it's daytime, easy peasy. We're not gonna do a lot of drama during the day. But we're just gonna go into the crease and then down here like that. And I pick up the color and then tap off the excess. And we're gonna do a chipper there. The biggest thing, like I said, the biggest thing I learned is my problem in the past was I never knew that blending with my friend. So I use the fat end of this particular brush that I have. It's not a unique brush, but I, I had it already. I have not had a chance to upgrade yet. Blending is your friend. Hi, Barbara. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side, in your crease, and then in the V like that. Like I said, it, I used to feel like it looked so harsh and it was um, just not anything like the pictures that I attempted. Who knew that you had to blend? So we're gonna blend that. So that's the first layer of color for our daytime look. Now, I, I personally like, we have, um, this particular brush. We have an angle on one end, we have a sponge on the other. I love this one for my shimmers because I can place it really um, precisely. Again, just make sure you clean it up. I'm terrible about cleaning it after I use it, but I remember to clean it before. So, I'm just gonna clean that off and then I'm gonna pick up that brassy and we're gonna put it on the inside of my eye. So the darker color goes in your crease and kind of on your outside V. You can really smoke that out. Sorry, the text messages today are off the chain. You can really smoke that out for nighttime, but it's Wednesday midday. I go teach tiny humans here at night at church on Wednesday, so we're gonna go for daytime. So I picked up the brassy. We're gonna put it on the inside of the eye to kind of come meet the chipper that we used. I don't care what day it is. Everybody likes a little shimmer. And these are buildable colors. So I always start really light, but you can go as dramatic as you want. This little mirror is fabulous. I like to keep a palette with me anyway when I'm at work just because of the mirror. And if you wanted to transition this from day to night, super easy. Either use your rose water that you have in your bag or dampen your brush in some way, shape, or form, and you pick it up and it gives it a whole nother dimension. So, we've got Brassy. On the inside, corners. And we are gonna go back with our crease brush, with our chipper. Hi, Robin! and do another layer of that just because I don't feel like there's enough definition there yet. Now, I used to be a fan of pencil eyeliner on my lash line above and below. have learned is that the powder, my palettes, work really well. The one thing I will do before I finish with my palette is I'm going to tight line a little bit because my allergies have been off the chain lately. So we're going to tight line just a tiny bit on the upper lash line with our perfect eyeliner. Um, and after I do that, I'm going to use another one of our shadows, our Zealous. It is, it is shimmery, but I like a little 
glitter. I'm barely girl most days. So we're just going to pull up and align our upper waterline inside our lashes. The favorite thing about this, which comes with your main kudos, waterproof, allergy prone. I take so many stinking allergy medications, it's ridiculous. So we are going to tight line a little bit there. And then I will finish with my palette and my lashes and we'll go on to lips. But like I said, the um, this month the make kudos is the palette the liner palette of your choice liner of your choice 3d lashes so i am going to move and i use my crease brush for this um i see a lot of people using their angle brush whatever other brush you have but <laughs> i'll be honest i'm not that coordinated so i like my smallest eye brush which is my crease brush so i'm just cleaning it off really well and i'm going to use my zealous I guess it's because it's the, the tiniest of the brushes that I have for my eyes. And I'm a hot mess. So we're gonna put some Zealous on there. And then we're gonna go in under the lash line. And I'm also going to go in I just connect it there to the chipper. Some people use tape, I've seen that. Um, if you have hooded eyes, which means when I look straight at you, you can see my color. My eyes aren't hooded. But if you had hooded eyes, where it kind of looked like I was looking down at you, you really couldn't see the color I had on my eyes, people take it up higher on their brow bone. But I'm also going to take the Zealous and go across my top lash line as well. Show on the outside. I swear I'm going to have a compilation of these um, contraptions that I have to hold my phone up because they're hysterical. Sage is an Eiffel Tower I use. It's fabulous. It's the perfect height. My k love just went off. I have music going downstairs. Alright. So there's that. So far, that's where we live. I'm sorry about the glare. Holy moly. So look. You see, you see that? Alright. So, I am just going to retouch my brassy on the inside because I've blended a little bit. I want to make sure I have that nice bright inner corner. And then, the last thing I'm going to do for my daytime look, well, for the, for the palette at least, as I have, like I said, our angled shadow sponge brush. So angled shadow. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? That's that. We have a sponge on the other side. Angled shadow. I'm going in with sincere. So I use the first one, elated, which is matte, for my all-over primer color. I'm gonna use elated for my brow bone. That's kind of a highlight. So that part's done. And honestly, like I said, it was a daytime look, but I really um, feel like I like this brassy. I would like to kind of make it wet. And when you do that, it just makes it so much more metallic. So I'm just gonna put a little bit extra on my inner eyes because I am trying to do a daytime look. Next thing I'm gonna do. So, I'm ordering our pristine on my next order, but I always have subscribed to the theory of the white eyeliner on your bottom waterline. 
It helps those of us who work shift work, tired mummies. We have luminizers that do the same thing for your face. So you put it on your cupid's bow where the light normally hits. The white on your bottom waterline is amazing. Kind of perks you up, gives you that not so tired look. All right, that being said, next. That's done. That's our package for this this month, um, our kudos. It's fabulous. I was super excited because, like I said, I wanted those palettes. They were on my list. I was going to buy them anyway. Get them 20% off. So, on top of that, I would, let's see, let's use, it's daytime. So, we're going to use Confidence. So, we have pigments um, at night. When I want more drama, um, I will use our Perfect Black Eyeliner as well, or our Liquid Liner, to create some more drama there. So what I have here is pigment, and I need my brush, my liner brush. Here we go. So I'm also going to take a liner brush. It's angled. I take my pigment, I open it, I put a little drop of water in the top. It's like liquid liner. You have it available in so many colors. Um, you mix it in, make a little paste out of it, and let me tell you, I don't care whether you have multiple color liners or not. If you have your pigments or you have your eyeshadows, you have liners in any color you want. Mix a little water in there, and we'll go in and line. I rest my um, heel of my hand on my face because it steadies my hands. I drink a lot of caffeine in the morning. So after you're done with your eyeshadow, I do my homemade liquid liner. And you might have to, like I said, it's um, solid pigment, so you might have to add a little bit more water. I put a couple of drops, like I said, in the lid, pick up some pigment as I need it, and I make my own liquid liner. And you can do whatever you want. You can make your wing, you can do it however you feel comfortable. I'm doing a day look on a Wednesday. I'm doing plain Jane, just a basic line across the top. Is that glare too much? Holy moly. Gotta find a good spot with no glare. I'll take after pictures so that you can see how I use the palette and the products. Um, I'll figure that out later. Last thing I'll do, I'm gonna do my eyelashes offline because you know, I have problems with those. I tend to poke myself in the eye, it gets everywhere, and then I'll take after picture. But what I will do is I will use, today I'm gonna use our plush lip liner. I exfoliated. Super soft, not gonna run. Lining ensures one next step that your lip products aren't gonna run in, into your little creases. Especially if you're someone living like me and I should get a little water. Now, depending upon what you're going for for the day, this is one of my favorites. So I usually fill my whole lip in with this. And it would require a little more than a clear gloss. To go with it. So today though, I did fill it in, but Sage's favorite color is purple. She loves this splash liquid lipstick. Holy moly. She adores it. It's really not my color. I'll put it on for her anyway. So 
I find that when I put the lip liner on, um, you can really, actually, let me do something else. Ha, take my wipe. There's a whole big thing called the ombre lip. I'm really not big into ombre anything, but they say you take your white eyeliner, use it for concealer, use it on your cupid's bow for a highlighter. We sell luminizers that are much better than this, but then you can actually put it, which I'll do, in the middle of your lips. Yeah, try that today. We're gonna experiment. And then we're gonna put our splash liquid. And let's see what color, I don't even know what color I picked up today. Sentimental, the color I picked up today. So we're gonna put that on. It's really purple, it's not my favorite, it's Sage's favorite, I don't really do bold. Um, she loves it, so we're gonna put it on. Liquid lipstick, always start with a liner. I put the white in the middle. we go. So, the lip color of Sage's choice. <laughs> the last thing I'll do, um, again, from the same palette one, um, like I said, she loves, she loves shimmer, she loves this color, she loves purples. So the last thing I'm going to tell you, so I, I exfoliated lips, I lined them, then I did the white in the middle, and now I put our liquid lipstick on. But you can also take our palette and any of our shimmers, especially the ones that are meant to highlight. So I'm going to actually take the Sincere because it has shimmer in it. I'm using my finger because I don't want lipstick on my shadow brush. And just take a little Sincere on my pinky and just do this. in the middle, along where the white went. All right, there's that. And like I said, last but not least, and actually, whatever, we're, we're this far and we're gonna put lashes on. It'd be fine. I'm an ER nurse. If I injure myself, it'd be fine. I promise. <laughs> so we're gonna finish up with our 3D microfiber lashes. I wish, like I said, I, you can use our highlighter um, colors for our palettes on your face as well. So this Elated, if you don't have a luminizer yet or you're waiting to buy it or you haven't had it, whatever, you can actually use the lightest color in all of our palettes for our highlighter as well. And you think about where the sun would normally illuminate, natural light would normally illuminate your face, the tops of your cheekbones, your cupid bow, things like that. You can use them all for that. A luminizer line is a much better choice, but if you want them, at your disposal, one palette. The one thing I have not tackled yet on my own in my journey to learn how to do my own face is brows. That's this month as well. So I've ordered a brow palette. Um, I'm a little nervous. Never worked with the brows before. But you know, hey, never worked with my eyes before either. So we'll do our lashes. I'll take some before and afters for you. I'll show you what I used in my skincare and I'll give you the information for the two bundles this month. The Adore Her for the Mother's Day and the May Kudos, the eyes. Um, both amazing deals, and actually, I'm sorry. I'm not brave enough today. We're not gonna do eyelashes online. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll take an after picture for you though. So, again, um, to recap, the Adore Her, Mother's Day, only till Sunday, the charcoal mask, 
the lip exfoliator, the rose water spray. I cannot say enough about those three products. They are at my disposal all of the time. The eyes. I am tickled pink personally, purple maybe, we should say, um, with this promotion because I already had on my wish list palettes four and five, which I don't have yet. More eyeliner colors because I only have the perfect. So far, like I said, I wanted the white, I want the brown. I want all of them. Um, and you should replace your mascara every three months. So, who doesn't need more mascara? Anyway, thank you. Chase your why. Know your why. Love your why. Share my video. PM me if you have any interest. Helping me out. Host a class. I need 10. This month alone, 10. 10 hostesses. Host a class. I'll share my stuff, I'll share my knowledge, I'll share my product, and you will get free things. Love you, mean it, have a great day. Hopefully I won't be gone for a week and a half, anytime soon.